Matt Frazier is the world famous psychic medium and star of the reality show, Meet the Frasers. His recent book, When Heaven Calls, explores his life dealing with his exceptional ability to talk to the dead as well as the life lessons he's learned along the way. His journey has been remarkable and one of a kind. Matt, it's a pleasure to have you on If God Had a Podcast. Thank you, it's great to be here with you. Yes, I'm so excited. So, uh, okay, let's just let's just get this started. So, <laughs> do you choose who comes through? Like, which spirits you talk to? Like, how does this whole process work for you? So it's crazy because for me, being a medium, when you lose a loved one or when someone crosses, passes on to the other side, the first thing that they try to do is reach people here in this world. They want to let their loved ones know that are still here on earth. Listen, I'm okay. I'm on the other side. I am with you. You know, and I'm still a part of your daily life. So they try to reach those people, you know, through signs, through dreams, through visitations, and sometimes even a medium like myself, because the other side knows who they can speak to and they know who they can communicate with. So it doesn't matter, no matter where I go, if there's a spirit that has a message or has to connect with their family member, they will. So it all depends right. on who passed, when they passed, you know, what they have to say and what the message is, which is pretty cool because I literally feel like I'm the post operator in heaven, you know, reconnecting as many people as I can with their loved ones on the other side. Yes. And we were kind of talking about this before we started. You've been so busy during this whole COVID thing. I bet you've brought so much comfort to a lot of people that really needed it. Yeah. And you know, what's so amazing is that I guess COVID really taught me more about my gift and about my ability because, you know, mm -hmm. I do uh, private readings all the time by Skype and, and Zoom like this, but, you know, we've never done live events online before. So during COVID, everyone's like, Matt, you know, I'm so upset. You were supposed to be coming to my city and the tour got canceled or, you know, your dates got moved and now I can't attend. So I wanted to do something special. I've seen everyone on TV going and, you know, doing the TV shows right from home. CBSN is one of them. You know, you see all of the people from home reporting and I'm like, you know what? I wonder if we could do this with, you know, one of my live events or one of my live shows. And what's so crazy is that I didn't think it was going to work. I didn't know if it was going to be able to happen or not. Because, you know, I've never used my gift in this way. I never was yeah. able, you know, to have a time when I had, you know, a, you know, uh, a lot of people up on screen and reading people all at once. I'm like, you know, will I be able to read them? Will I get overwhelmed by the spirits? Will I be able to, you know, hear messages from them? So my team was like, listen, let's try it with one event and see how it goes. So we did one online event through Zoom actually, just much like we're doing right now. And then all of a sudden it was amazing because as every as everybody started to appear up on the screen, it's like, it looked like the, like, it looks like the Brady Bunch, by the way, when everybody's up right, on screen, yes. if you ever seen the Brady Bunch. <laughs> all of a sudden, all of these souls started to come through and I would see, you know, a mom in this corner trying to connect with her daughter or a father in this corner trying to connect with, with his son. And it was amazing because soul after soul after soul after soul came through. And now I think we've, we've I've read almost over 200 people uh, through, through these online uh, readings alone. And it's, it's, it's been incredible. That is amazing. And that's so crazy that it does work this way. Cause like you, I wouldn't know, like kind of like your, the questions that you had for yourself is like, does this work? Is it going to be, I'm, am I going to be overwhelmed? Like what's going to happen? They're all very valid questions. I wouldn't know what would happen, you know? So that's very cool. Well, being but, a medium, uh, it's, it's like a learn, it's like a language. Like I'm still yeah. learning about my gift and I'll never stop learning. You know, so the day I die, there's still, you know, ways or new ways that, you know, the other side is using to communicate with me and speaking to me. Just like us, you know, I, I'm sure that, you know, English is your first language as it is mine, but we're still learning, you know, new ways to phrase our sentences every day. We're, new, we're learning new words every day and what certain words mean. So, you know, for me, it's, it's the same thing with mediumship. I'm always learning new ways that the other side communicates. And, you know, I just learned this, this new thing about my gift as well, which is pretty cool.